Hello guys, good day and welcome back to my channel. Today, we'll be talking about how to bypass ads limit, like how to bypass ad mob limit. First of all, let me show you a proof that this trick is actually working. Go to my Gmail. So this is my Gmail account that I used to cash out. As you can see, I used to cash out on recently on November 23rd. So this is the cash out mail. Check your recent payment. So before, if you are watching this video, don't be duped by anyone. Before so you can pay someone to like I don't know. Before you can pay someone to develop app for you, any ad mob app, don't fall for any bank alert scam or rubbish. These two aim is show me your dashboard. Here you get show me your dashboard and two show me your recent payment email because Google will mail you anytime they send the payment. As you can see, I received my payment on twenty third. If you can check well, twenty first was weekend, so that's why I don't receive the mail on twenty first. I think Google board is not working on that day. So come and see it. I, I they paid me on. Mm, what's the day? Okay, twenty third, and you can see as of November six, they they give me ad limit on November six, and I can I, I managed to cash out on, on this thing. Okay, I managed to cash out on December twenty first. Do you understand? So let's see it now. On uh, uh, they, they they limit my account. Do you get? So now come and see it. I've put my payment details there on November fourteenth. I put my payment details there, and as of November 15, I changed my payment method, like, I changed the payment method, and they verify my tax ID, which is the, my, this is a USA account, in case you don't know, so they verified it on 15 of November, as you can see over here, so this is, they verified their bank and everything, on 17 November, you understand? Because okay, so because of some of you guys that don't know how Google Google verification work, I'm very sorry. So this is how it works. You put your bank account there. They send you a payment below one dollar, like 0 0.57. Then once you send it, once you receive the payment, then you come into your ad ad mob account or access account and fill the payment. This thing that the, that you have received the money and the zero point what? So after you do that, they have verify your payment info like that. For USA account only, okay. So let's walk through how to bypass the ad limit. This is my VPN over here. If you can see, look up here. I have all my VPN. I currently use two both VPN for the tutorial sake. My HMA VPN is here also. So I normally recommend everyone to use HMA because it's the best. I've been using it for days, for years. It's the best. So this are the app currently looks like now. This is how my app currently looks like, and the CPC is cool. So we wait for us to pop up. You see it now because of my VPN. How to know if something is connected to VPN or not? Check this thing over here. I don't know this one. I don't know if you can see it here. This our choice here. Check it. If you are in Nigeria, IP is supposed to be different in, in this one. So click on close. Let me close the ads. So if you don't know how to run the pressure with this my app, because I'm trying to update this app maybe by next week. So if you are, I don't, I don't know the time you're watching this video. Just try by next week. I'm supposed to have updated the app. So you click on any button here. Freeze for impression. For that is in the app. Click on any button here. You wait for us to pop up. You get. You close it. This you have run one impression like that. Click on the second one. Do you understand? So this is how you keep going. Don't be in a rush to like be clicking hundred times and be doing. You need to run impression. And any app you see that the impression will be showing like. About 10 impression per second, 100 impression per second, it's rubbish. They will ban you like after two to three days. Do you understand? So this is how you do it tutorial. You have to wait. So don't let, let's be sincere to ourselves. Any account that they ban, the ads will not be showing again. You get. So this is how to bypass it. This will be trick and how to bypass the account. I don't know how to explain this thing, but let me try off my internet connection. Any account that they has banned, if you click here again, nothing will show. Ads will not pop up, nothing will pop up. So this is how you keep on doing it. You know, they have banned your account and let's get to think of it. If it's normal user that is that is entering the app every day, it's not concerned the user whether they have banned their account or they have not banned their account. So the way I bypassed my own was was this. After they limit the account, I normally enter the account with different different IP again. Like I, even after I was limited, I'm still entering my app. You understand? If I click on anything, I also add add to no show. You get. I had no more showing. So that's that's how I bypass my own. It's very easy. Just when they limit you, keep on entering your app. But if your app is the one that will be showing like 100 million impression per seconds, 10 impression per seconds is rubbish. A normal standard app will be showing you one ads below. 
be it any app in this world, it will show you one art or like native art or one banner and one native. That's what a normal art is showing. So if somebody build a app that will be like, it will show you like about five ads in a page. All these niggas that will be like 100 ads in a page and will be like, I'm working on another version app. It's rubbish. You understand? So this is how to bypass it. You click on the button, you wait. You understand? That time you have internet connection on. Because my account is still active. This my ad mobile account is still active. That's why it's still showing ads. I don't even try to understand what I'm saying. Even though when they limit you, all the ads is now popping up. <laughs> so even though when they limit you, you get you keep on pushing. Like keep on entering your app. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. Keep entering your app. It keep entering your app every every time. You get so there was an app, some app in your phone that you realize that sometimes you be showing ads. Like about some months, you know, some months later or some days later, it will, it will stop showing ads. Maybe they limit the person. You get. So that's how you can bypass it. That's the only way to bypass ad limits. You click on the button, or I don't know how your app is, but just make sure you are entering your app every day. Even though when you are limited, keep on entering your app. Keep on entering your app. Sometimes even send it to your friend's phone with normal IP everywhere. Keep on entering your app. And there's some mistake we also do as normal people. You get. So don't let me lie. If you send me your account screenshot on my WhatsApp, I will tell you whether you're self clicking or not. Because everybody that is self clicking is targeting ICPC. You get. I don't know if you try to understand what I'm saying. Everyone is targeting ICPC for that. They're using USA, UK, all this one. Stop doing it. It's rubbish. You get. If you have ICPC, ten dollar per click, and they ban you, the account is gone. So if the one that you're having, maybe one dollar per click, maybe zero point fifty, maybe zero point twenty per click, it's okay for you. Go to your VPN, connect to, even if it's Germany, even if it's country that is not popular, be bumping that country, you understand? Be using it, even though it's Nigeria. Yes, it's Nigeria. Some people end legit with Nigeria, with Nigeria, this thing. So even though it's Nigeria, be working on the Nigeria accounts and keep on going on. Not the one that you will be working today, today you are on USA, tomorrow you are on UK, next tomorrow, it's rubbish. So if you're watching this video now, my advice for you now is just to like, enter, how to not let Google limit you. Sometimes enter your app with normal IP. Scroll like sc just be in your app. It's normal that you click every time. So okay, guy was asking me how many clicks should I do per IP? One IP is supposed to be one click. Then you come here, you hold your app this thing, app info will clear your app data. Where's my where's my own self? Storage. Clear data. So once you clear data, you have internet connection. You might off your VPN and rehone it. You get so if I do my VPN, if I often rehone it now, I'm going to go back to my app. It's supposed to still be showing me that I'm hey, freshly have just entered your app again because I'm now fresh. So this is how to be doing it every time, not just you go to your app, you stay there like with the IP will be there like, like one hour, two hours, one IP is there. God will just limit you once they find out. You get so you click on ads. So once you click on ads, any ads there, click on it. So just cancel it for now. So that's it. You keep on working, keep on pushing and all that thing. Wow, this thing is in Chrome, Jesus. So make sure you set your own browser to Firefox. I just I remember why I said my own to Chrome. And I was working on one app, so that's why I said to Chrome. So this is it, guys. This is how to bypass ad limits. There is nothing much there. Once they limit your account, as you can see, this, this is my proof over here. I work with proof. If you check out my other tutorial, you see proof of cash out and everything. You get. So, even though it's $100, I'm cashing out every month. So far, it's steady. Like, steady income. If you are working on this one, it's not just me. You will not be working on your, taking care of your child, doing your extra job at home. It's just like, even though it's $100, I know it's $100 is minimum, but at least it's something. You get. So you guys will be like, bro, how much do you cash out? Even though I cash out one dollar, bro, it's something. So some people have been doing it since, wasting that and they have not been cashing out anything. And you cash out more money, you're supposed to be happy. You get? So, I don't know. This is And number one, two, it's not advisable to sign in your Gmail into your phone that you're using to click. If you can see over here, this is I just signed in this account here. I just signed in today. Now, now, you get so that's it. It's not advisable to be signing in the account you are using to work on the same phone. If it's possible, remove all the Gmail on your phone. Or, like the way I used to do my sometimes is, I will remove my Gmail, all of my Gmail. Like, 
I will remove all of my Gmail in my phone. If I want to click, let me tell you this little bit secret that, that, that I normally do. If I want to click, you understand? Then I will enter, like if I want to click now, I will open a new Gmail, put it in the phone. Because Google is the owner of Gmail and maybe if they want to track us, they may be tracking through the Gmail account. The Gmail account is the owner of, is, is, is in this phone that the user is click. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So open a new Gmail account, sign in, sign it, it in, sign in into your phone, like the Gmail, the new Gmail you open, sign it, sign in the Gmail into your phone. You just click one click, sign out, sign in new Gmail. Keep on doing it like that. You understand? Keep on doing it like that, and make sure you are also hundred percent on Wired.net. So I'm using. I don't know if I'm on VPN though. Things are disconnected. Wired.net. Make sure you are on hundred percent every time. You want to click, keep your ass safe. Because if the ban used, your account has been gone. But try to keep yourself safe every time. Make sure you are on hundred percent. You see it now. I'm in sixty percent. You understand? So if I want to click, no matter I want to click now, I will off some one or two things. You get on my data, off my data. Sometimes I normally reboot my phone after each click. Sometimes I want to install the app and install it again. You get so my DNS issue now. If I should want a VPN now, this, this DNS will go because I, I read about it on YouTube and on Google the other day. They were like, I should do one or two things in my Wi Fi, but I, I, I didn't get it the way they say it. So once I own VPN, my HMA is the best recommended HMA and Express. Any other VPN, I don't know about it. You get so that's how to bypass ad limits. So that's it. Thank you for watching the video, guys. Hit the subscribe button because big things are still coming on the way.